911. What is your emergency? Yeah, we got a domestic uh, argument, and this man is just uh, kind of going crazy. 911. What is your emergency? Yeah, we need an ambulance. Then a gun discharge. We need an ambulance. There's been a gun discharge with someone shot? Yes. Is he awake and breathing? He just went unconscious. All right, stay on the phone. Let me get you over to EMS. Stay on the phone. Sabrina, that ain't helping me. you got to breathe. You had been drinking uh, some alcohol earlier, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you still feel like you're under the influence? A little bit, but I can answer your question. Okay. What is the, before we just, so I can get a kind of a baseline, well, what's the last time um, you had an uh, alcoholic beverage? Honestly, I don't know. Okay. I'm probably, probably about, I don't even know what time it was. Okay. 10.30-ish, okay. I guess. Okay. What did you drink? Oh, we, me and my husband and my friend, we finished off like a whole bottle of vodka. Okay. okay. Do you feel, do you feel impaired right now? No. Fine. You understand everything we're asking. I know so everything you're asking. Okay. You feel like you can answer questions and everything. Yes. Okay. Did you do anything yesterday? Breakfast, lunch, dinner, anything like that? Yeah, I had like three chicken nuggets or something. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to read, uh, this is a consent to be interviewed form. Okay. Okay. And basically it's going to say. I swear my husband's okay. And we'll, we'll get through, we'll get through that. We don't quite have that answer yet, so once we hopefully finish up, we'll have an answer for you, okay? So I know we were, we were talking and you, you said that it's been a few hours since you had a few drinks. You, you and a friend and your husband had, had drank yes. um, a bottle of vodka. Um, kind of take me through your, your day today. What were you? Today was Friday. We just got back from a cruise. You uh, got back today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were we were both kind of sick on. So we got back and we were just kind of chilling around the house. It was, it was a nice day. And then my friend came over and she wanted to stay and drink and I was tired. Who who was at um who was at your house with you? Who's your friend? My friend Laura came over. Well, on Friday, days during the week, I usually watch her kids after school, so mm -hmm. her kids come over. So she came over to pick up her kids, and then she didn't want to go home for whatever reason. So I cooked dinner, and we stayed and we hung out. I didn't really want to drink, but. She likes to drink, and my husband likes to drink, so we drink. Okay, and where were you? Where? In my house. In your house? Yeah. Okay, I see you had a bathing suit on. Do you have a pool? Mm hmm Okay. Um, who else was at the house with you guys? Um, my dad. And what's your dad's name? Michael Irwin. And then two of my kids, and one of her kids. At the time of the incident, I guess. Okay. And who, what are your kids' names? Bill and Pauline? And they're also um, Henley? No, they're... Okay. And do you know your friend Laura's last name? Polatz. P-O-L-A-T-Z. Okay. And do you know her kid's name? Christina. With a C? Yes. C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E. -E. Same last name? Mm -hmm. 
Um, so you, you guys are enjoying your time back from the cruise, you're having a few drinks, um, kind of what happens from there? Everyone's having a good time? Been hit in the head so many times, so I really don't remember things. This is sucks. Say it again. What happened? Say I've been hit in the head so many times that I don't remember things. When were you hit in the head? Oh, car accidents, whatnot. I almost died here recently, but I don't know. It was it was a good night. I thought it was a good night. I was joking around with my husband. You know, just about things you're going to do with your husband. My husband is such an ass. He's so mean all the time. Explain that to him. What do you mean he's mean to you? He's mean all the time. I don't want to talk bad about him. Okay. Don't think of it as you're talking bad about him. We're just trying to find out a story. Mm -hmm. So obviously we're here. He was just a Tonight he was just mean to my dad. Okay. And my husband is very strong. He's in the army. I was in the Marine Corps. He's a very strong. Mm -hmm. And he was being mean to my dad. And he, he can just, he can get like that sometimes. I mean, he gets mad over the ceiling fan being on because God knows that's going to hurt your throat. Or he'll get mad because you made a grilled cheese because God knows that's fucking processed cheese. How, and how he gets you? mad over everything. He gets mad over everything. You, you, you walk on eggshells. But I love my husband. Of course. But I can't even really be mean to my dad. What happened between him and your dad today? Uh, there's like little snippets that I remember and some that I don't. And I don't know. It must have been fighting because and I do remember my dad being there and me telling my dad to go away and me that. My dad and him would never be right again because I kept telling him to go just apologize. Just go apologize. Because my dad's living with me right now because my husband's technically on a deployed status or whatever. So he's supposed to be in Indiana. And so he just came to visit me or whatever. But Your dad's supposed to be in Indiana? No, my husband. Your husband's supposed to be in Indiana? Yeah, okay. he's, he's deployed to a, a unit there. Okay. Um, but man, he's such an ass. He was just mean to my dad, I guess. And what happened when you were telling him to apologize? I was just, I just kept grabbing him and telling him to say he's sorry, and he just kept saying that he couldn't, that there was nothing he could do, that this strain between him and my dad was done. What happened? Saying. I don't know. We were in my room. I know that. I didn't get it out. It was on the bed. I didn't put it there. Okay. Yeah. It must have been something that he got out. For what reason? I don't know. Okay. But I know how he can be. So the gun is on the bed. What happened? I just grabbed it. Okay. And then I pointed it at him. Did you say anything to him? No, no, I just held it there. And then what happened? And then I think he came at me a little bit, maybe to get it. Which was stupid. What happened when he came at you to get it? Shot him. I don't know what he was thinking. Sometimes my husband thinks he's just so much better than me or something. And it's like, 
This is the military too. I know. I know how to handle a damn weapon. Where did you shoot him? Center of his body. Okay. What happened then? This one is slowing down. And then I don't know. I think it just hit me that I shot him and he just looked at me and he said, What did you do? He said that to you? Why did you do this? And then I just. Then what happened? And, and, and try to stop the blood. Was there was there any type of physical altercation between you and your husband? Yeah, but not not like to a point of like can punch him or something because I'd be knocked out if he did. So what kind of physical altercation was there? Was it just verbal? This is the problem is is that I can't remember. I know that I remember. I remember getting out of the backyard, and I remember running down the street, and I remember him getting me. When was this? And then pulling me back into the house tonight. And then I remember getting back out again, and hiding behind a car. I remember that. Was your friend Laura there when all this happened? I don't know. I remember seeing her leave my house with her kid. When you guys go into the bedroom, you went into the bedroom with him willingly to try to get him to apologize or what? Yes. Okay, he didn't drag you into the bedroom, did he? No. Have you guys fought with each other before physically? Yeah. What was the last time? <laughs> We've argued quite a few times. I'm not talking about arguing. I'm talking about if you guys ever got into a yeah. bunch of boxing match with each other. Yeah, but he likes to blame that all on me. He says it's my fault. It's not my fault. I don't know if you're married. But sometimes you just want to talk to your stupid husband. Sometimes you just want to tell him stuff. And he just wants to fucking walk away. And you just want to talk to him. Yeah, some husbands aren't good about listening. No, he's not. He's not. So tonight when you're in the bedroom, did you guys, were you guys fighting with each other? Other than, I mean, you were arguing, obviously. Yeah, but, yeah. I wish I could remember. I wish I could remember it all. I had to have been at a point. I would not have done that. I would not have shot my husband. If there was not a reason for it. Well, could have been just sick of him trying to walk away? No. I wanted to shut him for walking away. I keep his car for walking away. Okay. I cut the dog leads for walking away. But no, I always follow my husband. And he'll always push me away. And I always hold him. And I always give him kisses as he's pushing me away. And I try to make the situation right every time. Always do that. Is that what you were trying to do tonight with between he and your dad? Yeah. I always do that. Because I want things to be right. My dad hates my husband. My dad hates him. But just because it's not a Christian, he hates him. Yeah. Okay. okay. But I love that stupid man. He is an ass. He really is an ass. How long have y'all been married? Four years. How long did y'all know each other prior to getting married? Six months. You said he's in a deployed status. Is he active duty? No, he's a reservist. He's a reservist with the Army with National, National Guard. Guard yeah. Florida National or Army uh, National? It is, it's Army, but he we lived in Indiana and then we moved here to Florida and okay. he worked at a unit here, but then he took a, what is that, ARG or something, or I mean, where they go active duty for a year. 
Okay. So he'd already been gone a year, and now he went gone another year. So my dad's been living with me for two years. We've been married four years, and the first year he was in Afghanistan, and then these last two years he's been gone. So really, we were together that one year, and in that one year, I've almost died two times. So it, we've had a rough freaking marriage. So the last time that you were talking about when you said you've been hit in the head, the last time you were hit in the head was two years ago? Three yeah, years ago? Two years ago. Okay. So that's not something that happened tonight? No. Okay. You, you said that was from a car accident? Oh, I did get hit with a car accident. That was in uh, December. It was, I got hit in my mail truck, delivering the mail. I got meta back to the Tampa. But no, my husband just did a leg sweep and <coughs> knocked my head to the concrete. What was that? A couple of years, two years ago. Police involved? No, I just went to the VA and told them I fell down. Has there been any type of police involvement, any of the domestic uh, issues no. between you and your husband? No, not there should have been, but no. Be, with these, with these, um, between the car accident and you falling and hitting your head, um, is there any medical diagnosis that's that they've given you that's wrong, or you just hit your head and they sent you on your way? Do you have anything uh, physically wrong with you? No, I've had concussions. Okay. I don't know. I need to see the doctor again about certain things. So you're not currently under any type of medical care because of no. these past falls or hits or whatever. Do you no. work? Hmm? Do you work? Yes. Where you work? Uh, parish mail, parish post office. Okay. And Manatee? Yeah, I'm the, I am typically the breadwinner of the house. I think that's what gets at me more. So I work my butt off and I pay for everything. And then I have to be told how to do everything. And then he's gone and he's here and he's gone and... He's gone and then he's here and then when he's here he tells me, you can't leave the garage door open. Or kids can't have friends over to play. Or why are people walking in the house with shoes on? And it's not like a normal spousal telling them, hey, you can't do this. It's a... It's more like a drill sergeant. Yeah. You live on edge and I can't... He'll only eat chicken. Chicken breast. It's all I eat. Okay. And I cook it, I make, I do everything right. I make everything right. And he just can't be pleased? No. Is there a certain set of rules that apply? I mean, shoot, if I kiss him and I use my tongue, it's, it's why are you doing that? Because is, that's how you kiss a person. Is there a certain set of rules that are in the house when he's there and a certain set of rules when he's not there? Kinda. Okay. So there's turmoil, obviously, when he's home. Yeah, I mean, well, when he's not there, I just, <laughs> just have a good time. I mean, yeah, I'll yell at the girls if they're doing something wrong. I mean, but all my girls are straight A students. They're good kids. You know, if they're not doing something right, I'll yell at them tell them if they're doing it wrong. But... So when he comes home, it's just, he's all this third party person, you know, you can't, my dad just, why, why do the girls want to sleep beside your dad? Because he's their grandfather. You know, he yells about everything. He is mad about everything. Do you remember what he said to your father that you felt was rude? He pushed my dad. He pushed your dad? Okay. I know that he pushed my dad. Where did that happen? Because I heard my dad saying, really, you want to fight or something like that? It was kind of like kind of what came out of his mouth. Where did that happen at? Was that in the in, house? In, the, in the house. Okay. Now, where or why that took place, I don't know. When in relation to you guys going to the bathroom bedroom did that happen? Before, obviously, but I don't know. Like how long? 
Okay. So probably within 30 minutes, I guess. Okay. So is that the point that you start telling him that you want him to be nicer to you? Yeah, I just we've been drinking. Apologize. You know, he'll understand that you're just being an ass. My dad knows your ass. He already hates your guts, so it's not a big deal. Just say I'm sorry. You know, it didn't mean for it to go like this. But he's he will not apologize. He won't even apologize to me if he does it through. How long were you guys in the bedroom discussing this apology? I don't know. A little bit of time, I guess. Five minutes, ten maybe minutes, thirty minutes, minutes something maybe, else? Yeah, maybe five, ten, fifteen minutes. Okay. And what was he saying? Your um, husband? Oh, just that there's no reason to apologize because my dad will never forgive him. And they crossed a point that they'll never be able to get back from. One of those kind of things. How far away are you guys at this point from each other? Are you touching each other or are you staying on? At that point, we were touching each other. I was holding. I was trying to hold him anyway. So you don't have the gun in your hand at that time? No. Okay. Holding my husband. Like hugging him? Yeah. Like chest to chest? Well, kind of, but whenever you try to hug my husband and he's in a pissy mood, he always pushes you. Okay. So you're trying to? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to okay. fix the situation. And then what happens? I don't know. I just went to walk to the other side of the bed. So my bathroom's over here, so you got your room. We got a huge bed, so I was able to go around it. And that's where I was. I was just going to sit down. What was he saying at this point? Nothing. And then when I sat down, there was a the gun was right there. Did you sit down and then stand which, back up? Or? Which doesn't make sense. No, I didn't even sit down. I just looked. It was right there. On the bed. Which gun was it? Do you know? Was it a gun? Uh, a revolver? No. It was little. I, just, I had to cock it, obviously. But I don't know if it was a big one or a little one. So it was not loaded? No. It could be loaded. My kids in the house. Is there a magazine in it? Yes. Okay, just not one in the chamber? Right. You know your way around guns. Yes, I do. You made the comment you're part of the military and you know how to handle a gun. No, no, we don't. I mean, we have the magazine in, I know that. But the thing is, is I don't know why that was there. Where do you usually keep it? Well, the little one, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't gone and got my certification and stuff like that to, to on a weapon. I haven't got that. We've been talking about going and getting that. Sure. I haven't done it. But so we have a smaller one that was underneath my side of the bed. Is I never use it. Never shoot it. Mm -hmm. Never shot it before today. But yeah, so it was under there. And he would use it a lot of times because he has a concealed carry, so it's smaller, so he can do that. Okay. And then he has another one. So I don't know which one it was. What color was it? Well, all of ours are black. Black. Okay. So it's sitting there. Are you sitting down when you notice it, or are you standing no, up? It's standing up. So it's sitting there, and so what do you do? Well, I didn't understand it. I, I, well, my daughter was sleeping in the bed. In the same bed? Yeah. So your daughter's sleeping in the bed, and the gun's also in the bed? Yeah. But you don't know how it got there? No. Okay. It wasn't there. Which daughter? I Natalie, my six-year-old. Okay. I, I don't know because she doesn't sleep in there. She likes to sit beside mommy and daddy before she goes to work. But I don't know why that one was there. Like, we had it in the back of the car. He had it in the back because we took, we went on the cruise. So he put it in the back of the car, you know, the little divot thing in the back because it's got the he must have got it out. Like from the car? Yeah. When he was maybe unpacking? No, because we had already unpacked. We had already put our stuff in. I had already done all the laundry. 
I don't know when that came back out. It doesn't make it doesn't make any sense. Well, we can get to that. I just want to get to you. You see the gun. Your daughter's sleeping. You're on one side of the bed. Your husband's on another and side of the bed. Yeah. And I more just picked it up. He was up by the bathroom. By the bathroom? Okay. Okay. And so you pick up yeah, the Yeah, it was probably the distance of this wall to that wall. Okay. Okay. All right. And the bed's in between? Yes. Okay. And you pick up the gun, and what do you say? I didn't say anything. What did he say? I think he was just probably quiet at the time. Okay. And then that's when I loaded it. When you say you loaded it. I just walked it back. And Did he say anything? No, he was silent then. Okay. So where were you at when you shot him? In the distance. Still on the other side of the bed? Yeah, on the other side of the bed, I guess. I know I was on the side. I didn't go walking towards him. So you stayed on that side of the bed? So I would have walked towards him. He would have been able to take it from me and he would have shot me. Had he pointed the gun at you? No, but well, I'm not stupid. My husband is strong. Okay. So he didn't point the gun at you? No. Okay. So you don't... I just don't know why it was out. And I don't know why it was where it was. Because that's not even where it belongs. So if he did get it out, he should have put it where it belongs. It shouldn't have been right there. Did it wake your daughter up? I don't remember any of that. It seemed like seconds, milliseconds went by before the ambulance and stuff was there. Okay. How long, when you picked up the gun, did you point it at him? Yeah. You didn't say anything to him? No. He didn't say anything to you? No, he didn't say anything to me until I shot him. And then what? Did he say again? Why did you do this? What are you thinking? Sort of thing? How? I mean, it was a nice, it was a very nice tone. He said it in a nice tone, like, what are you doing? What, um... But he just always feels like he can just keep pushing on me. He just can do it all the time. When you say pushing, you mean physically or you mean emotionally? Emotionally. I can just do it all the time. And I'm always telling you, it's like, you got to stop. I mean, I've tried to kill myself four times since I've been married. Been the psychiatrist to the VA. And I just think to myself, maybe I'm just, maybe it's my fault. I'm not good at the whole being married thing. Like maybe I'm not. But I love him. He's stone, but I love him. Just for, for timing purposes, I know uh, you're not going to probably remember exactly. By the time you pick up the gun, rack it, and shoot him, I mean, is it minutes, seconds? Probably minutes. So you pick it up, you probably rack it. Minutes. So you don't immediately just pick it up, no. rack it, and shoot. No, I aimed okay. it at him. So you do point it at him? Okay. But do you don't say, do you, do you say anything to him when you point it? No. Do you ask him again to apologize or anything like that? No, I think I'm just quiet. I think my brain was just stunned at that point. What was it stunned from? Probably the alcohol. It just... I don't know, it's bad. When did you guys start hanging out? Do you remember what time you guys started hanging out and t today? <clears throat> With the, the friend and... What time did you get back from the oh, cruise? We got back from the cruise at noon. We went to eat at the um, scrambled egg place. And then we came home. And he worked on the pool and we took a bath and we had sex. And then she came over. So was it like four or five, six o'clock? 
4 o'clock, 4.30 is when she came over. So, so your kids are in school, right? Today was the last Today day of school. Day, right? So they were already home from school. So we're looking definitely in the afternoon. Yeah. Okay. Early evening. What time did they go to bed, the kids? Nine o'clock, nine, nine thirty. Okay. Just to just for a little bit more background, and was the the reasoning for that? I mean, was that because of the marriage as well, or what? What's pushed you it's to that? All like, it's all everything that has been underlying is the marriage. Yeah. Because, drives me nuts. Okay. So because you've taken pills in the past, what pills were they? Those were sleeping pills that were prescribed because I can't sleep because I have crazy anxiety, but I don't I don't, I don't take my medicines. Okay. So that was so I my, just had a whole bunch of them. That was gonna be my next question. Did you take any of your medication or did you take any pills today? No, I haven't taken medicine. Was there anything you mixed with your alcohol today? No. Yeah. Okay. No illegal drugs, marijuana. Nothing. Nothing. No. How was the cruise? Who went on the cruise? Just me and my husband. How was that? It actually kind of sucked. Because <laughs> the company or because the cruise? No, we do it a lot, but you no, know, on the way there, like he was already feeling kind of rough because he's been in the field, so his throat hurt, and then. I was starting to feel rough on the way there, just, you know, nasal and stuff like that. It was just kind of, it's just, oh. Yes. And cruise ships are not the best ventilated thing on the face of the earth. So, but he did get him to turn off, like, the AC in our room and stuff. So, it was. Did you guys have fun together? Yeah, we had fun together. Did you guys fight at all? Yeah. No fights, no arguments? We do well when it's just us. Okay. What, how long was the cruise? Just two nights. So two nights. I just went to the Bahamas and back pretty much. Where did you guys come in and out of? Uh, West Palm Beach. West Palm Beach? Mm -hmm. So you guys left. Today's Friday, you got back. So you left Wednesday? Yes. So a Wednesday to Friday? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, which was nice because I knew we never did that ship before. We was at the other one. Okay. So. Is it Carnival or is it? That's uh, the Bahamas Paradise or something like that. It's the Groupon one. Okay. You know, where it costs three hundred forty dollars for like two days. Okay. For two people. So we we've done that a lot. We've done that like five or six times, just like kind of like our date sort of thing, mm -hmm. just to get out of the house. Because it is awkward to try to sleep with your husband when your dad lives in the same house as you. Understood. Understand that. You said something earlier about something that happened earlier in the evening. Do you remember? Did you guys start fighting earlier in the or when we say fighting, did you guys start arguing earlier in the evening? No, we were good earlier. And I was even letting him play wrestle with my friend because she's a weirdo. For some reason, she seems to think she's a lot tougher than she is. She's like 5'2. Oh, she cracks me up, but she wanted to wrestle with him, and I remember having to tell him sometimes he's got to be a little bit more careful because the man's strong, and I'd have to tell her, it's like, you know, I know you want to play fight with him, but you got to be careful. I don't know why my hand hurts. But, yeah, so they did that. So when you said earlier that you were going in and out of the house and hiding out of the car, was that a different day? No, that's the night. What was that about? Yeah. I have no idea what it turned around. I have no idea why it turned out to be like that. Did you guys physically fight earlier this evening? No. Okay. He threatened you earlier this evening? No. We were good. I mean, relatively good. I mean, I could tell he was being pissy because... My dad turned all the lights on in the house, and God knows that's a fucking sin. So when did this turn? What do you do? You know what made this turn so 
No. Hostile. Do you know what do you know what made it turn really hostile between your yeah, dad no and your husband? Idea. Okay. Like we were having a decent time. But he does have that way of just like you're having a decent time and then he can just flip on you. When you say flip, you're talking about his attitude? Yeah. It'll okay. just change. It's like the other day I cooked like this roast beef, I uh, roast, I cooked, and I sat there for like all day long, and I cooked, and then it was time to eat it, and my dad literally went to get some potatoes out, and he touched one of them with his fingers, so God knows that's a fucking sin, so my husband is like all pouty, like, oh, your dad touched, did he wash his hands, and it's like, oh my God, yeah, my dad washed his hands with his damn spoon, but then he like, he couldn't eat it, it's like, why can you not eat, like, I cooked all day long, like made an apple pie, like because that's how I cook for my husband every day. So it's like, why can't you eat? Did you not even think to cut the fat off of it? I did cut the fat off. It's just, it's just how he is. So I left. And then even though I left and I was upset at him, I still went to Steinmart and I bought him new clothes. That's what I do. Try to make peace. I always do. I do. I always, I always cook him his chicken every night. Two side dishes, a salad, and a dessert. Every night. That's what I do. And then on Sundays, he gets a Sunday dinner. It's either turkey or it's a roast beef. And I do that every damn Sunday. And my husband is well taken care of at bedtime. I do, do fucking everything. And he just is unhappy all the time. He just, he just always has to find something. He always has to find something. It doesn't matter. You can turn on music, and it's like, oh, why are you listening to that? Or like I said, you can kiss him and use your tongue, and it's like, why would you do that? Why are you acting like this? You're acting like, because that's what normal people do. Or why do you do, it's, it's always, it's always something. Or have you played with the dogs today? It's always with the damn dogs. It's always something. It's just. But today, and going back to the leading up to you guys being in the bedroom, nothing physical happens between the two of you. I don't believe so, no. No fighting? No, I mean, my hand hurts now for some reason, but... Okay. No. But you don't know why it's hurting? No, I have no idea why it's hurting. Okay. When you get into the bedroom... I think it, some, something must have sparked between... I thought my friend left with her kid. I know I saw that happen. I know I saw that happen. And then I know I got in between him and my dad. Okay. I know I did that. In the bedroom, though, anything happened in the bedroom? No, he didn't push me. Okay. Or anything like that. You were just trying to hold him? Yeah. I just wanted to calm him down. I don't know why. He's like, he's 11 years older than me. You would think he would have enough common sense to know that some things are just life and some things you just got to get over. Like, just grow up a little bit. But he doesn't, he doesn't need to. And how long did you think, as best you can, how long do you think there was from the point that you picked up the gun and pointed it at him to the point that you pulled the trigger? I don't know. Probably a couple minutes, I guess. Maybe two minutes. Did he just stand still? I'm guessing he probably did. Because you said he was on the other side of the bed, correct? Yeah. <clears throat> but I'm guessing he probably did. Although, I'm a really good I'm a good shot. I didn't want to hurt my husband. You pointed at his chest, right? Yeah. 
I should have pointed it at an area that was not one that would kill him. So you were. I just wanted. To stop. You were enough upset that you wanted to hurt him. Yeah. And you thought shooting him would. I didn't want to shoot him. I didn't. I wanted. I wouldn't have shot him. I wouldn't have had the gun. You wanted him to stop. I just wanted him to quit. Quit being him. So that's what I'm saying. So I'm when you picked up the ass. gun and you saw it, you thought that a gun could put it into him being an ass. Correct? And right now, I just want to make sure he's okay. Um... Did he come towards you at all? Or did he stand there? I think he just stood there. He put his hand. Dumbfounded, like, this is really going to happen. Does your daughter wake up at all? I don't even remember. What was going through your mind in that two minutes? So now all I have is visions of blood on my carpet. Well, let's go back to the two minutes. You picked up the gun. You're pointing it at him. You got four years worth of memories racing through your head. You're irritated or you're tired of him being an ass, as you said, or being him. Um, he's gonna, what's go, what's he's going gonna on in your head? He's going to beat the shit out of me if I don't shoot this gun right now. Why was he going to beat the Did he say he was going to beat the shit no, out of No, I can tell you he would. Have you ever pointed a gun at him before? No, but you point a gun at someone, you know they're going to. Okay, well, that, really? that's what, and that, well, that's why I'm asking. You don't point is, a is gun it, at is, someone unless you plan on using it. Okay, so you planned on using it when you pointed it at him. I didn't want to. But yeah, I guess mentally I know that you don't point a gun at someone you don't intend to shoot. Okay, so for two minutes, you're, or a couple minutes maybe, you're sitting there pointing the gun, you're intending to shoot him, and what's going through your head? What are you thinking about? Why does this guy have to always be such an ass? Okay. Were you thinking? This is why. Why? 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 Does everything have to be drama? And he says it's me. And it really isn't me. I'm like the most easygoing person. I will literally run his bath and I will wash him. And then he's gonna have bubbles, and he's gonna have baby oil, and I take care of him, and I give him little facials, and I shave his fucking head, and I do all those things for my husband. I do. I take care of that man. He gets extra special relaxation time, which that is just getting a blowjob. But I do that every damn night. And I'll be there for like a fucking hour. And I do this stuff every day, every single day. He gets food. He gets bath. He gets that. I do everything. I clean everything. And I'm the one that works. And I do everything. And right now, the only reason why he's working right now is because one of our dogs got fucking diabetes. And he got some money on his credit card that he wanted to pay off. So he took a job to go do that. That's what he did. So he can pay off his bills and his motorcycle that he bought. None of that had to do with me. It all has to do with him. But everything I do has to do with me and my family and him. I take care of everything. But then it's like, you know, you... The little girls have someone over to play. Oh, this is too many people over here. Why are they coming in the house? They can play outside. It's raining outside. Well, they can play outside. It's like it's always something. Always something. You're going to wear that today? Yeah, I thought I looked nice in what I was wearing. Well, I really would have thought you would have worn a dress. Okay, do you want me to change? I don't know. I hated guys my entire fucking life. What a sorry, but a waste of time. And I finally fall in love with one. And this is how it is. I'll be back in a minute.
The only one right now is to hold my stupid hunter. Who I fucking hate. And you said you do everything. Does he do anything for you? <laughs> so you, you... Well, when I got into the car... Well, let's see. I had an ectopic pregnancy that I was dying from out on my mail route. And my husband was in Indiana working on one of our houses there. And he waited a couple days before he came and visited me. But he drove down in the vehicle and he saw me at the hospital for all of five seconds. And then he had to drive back to take care of the dogs and then drive back to see me. So I sat at the hospital by myself. And then I just got hit by a car and it cracked my head. My head was underneath the tire and all my ribs and everything broken. And I had a bad freaking go. I was in the hospital for a couple of weeks. And he would seriously wake up in the morning and take care of the dogs and do all the stuff around the house. And then about after he fed the dogs at night, he would come visit me at like 6.30, 7 o'clock at night for until 10 o'clock. But I couldn't get up and pee because I need someone to pick me up to pee on the little toilet. So when, when you, you made a comment that when you're on the cruise, it's just you and your husband and you, and you guys always have a good time it's just the two of you yeah, i did really just hurt my hand over how i did that is the dogs the main stressor i mean you seem to be pretty upset about these dogs i hate them i wish they would fucking die my dogs they are a stressor what's the bigger stressor the dog or the husband it's the husband but the dogs don't help it out i mean i like my dogs if it was just me and the dogs I could treat them like dogs. I could do it. But when I'm at work and you got your husband calling you going, did you brush the dog's teeth today? Mm. Did the dogs get their snack today? Did you call your dad and make sure the dogs had their lunch today? Uh, it's like, I'm not a fucking moron. I know how to do this stuff. I do it every day without you here. I don't need to be reminded. And it's his fault that the dogs are sick in the first place. And I told him that when we started dating. Is it safe to was is it safe to say that the majority of these issues are his fault? No, no, they're all his fault. They're all his fault. When you're in the no, I'm not going to say that I don't have a. I guess I play a part. I understand. Because it's I, a marriage. I, I take things a certain way, but I'm sorry. But I'm telling you, if you're not a girl, but let's say you were always sticking your hand down your wife's pants or whatever, trying to turn her on or doing whatever to turn her on, and she just always just walked away from you or just whatever, I'm telling you, you would get a little irritated. Absolutely. You would. I agree with you. And then if you were always like, in, you did everything in the house and then you were constantly being told, well, have you have your dad checked on this or have your kids checked on this or have, whatever it's like when they're not even home which i get that you got to be kind of courteous because they're away and they want to make sure that everything at the house is running smoothly i get that not a moron right you're an intelligent individual how long were you in the marine for 10 years oh wow. so you've got a little bit of military experience like 10 years so you're not a stupid individual. Don't no. treat you like one. No. Right. And I lost my position in the military thanks to an unfortunate event that has scarred me for freaking life that my husband knows. But it's just like, it's just, just, just it's like, I could have been so much better in life. When you guys are in the bedroom and you're, Tell him to apologize. You're on one side of the bed. He's on the other. He pulled the gun out. What's in his hands? Nothing. Okay. Bald fists, anything? Or is he just standing there? No, he's just standing there. Does he put his hands up? No. Does he say, don't shoot? Does he say anything? No. He stands there and looks at me. And you just point the gun at him and have... Yeah, I think he thought that I, it was just uh, like I was just playing. Like I would just get over it. 
and you weren't going to get over it this time. Okay. I think my brain housing group has just had too much of it. So as you're, as you're holding the gun and pointing at him, you're, I think Detective Blair said you have four <laughs> years of memories rushing to your brain. Of, yeah, but the, and they weren't uh, the good memories. It wasn't like... They were the good memories? They were not uh, exactly. the good that's memories. That's what I'm saying. All the stuff that's caused All issues. the bad stuff. It's like, why couldn't you just say I'm sorry? Or I'll apologize. Why can't oh, why can't people do that? Why can't people just admit they're wrong? Well, I want to I want to make sure that I'm correct on all this real quick. You pulled the gun out. You pointed at him. You intended to shoot him. He didn't have anything in his hands. Is that all correct? Yeah. Sabrina, is that a is that a yes? Like yes? Yes, yeah, I guess. Yes, I guess that's what happened because. That's what you told us would happen. Yeah, I mean, I'm get, that's what I believe would have happened. Okay. Because, like I said, I drink, so I really, like, spots of it are very not there. They're not there. Is this part clear, though? This part that I'm telling you, yeah. Everything you told us is clear. Okay. Sabrina, your husband's dead. Yes, ma'am. Your husband died at the hospital. You're lying, right? No, ma'am. We wouldn't lie about that. That's why I stepped out. Can, 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 I don't care if my handcuffs can we see him. At this point, we can't. We can't let you see him. And, and I'll tell you that that has nothing to do with you being here. That has everything to do with those are the rules of the medical examiner. He's going to have to go to the medical examiners first. Um, so that's not necessarily our rules. It's just something something we can't until they do the autopsy. They can't. We they don't let the family see or anything like that. He's really dead. Yes, ma'am. He's really dead. This is what we're going to do at this point. Okay? This is Sabrina. This is what we're going to do at this point. We're going to walk you next door where you came into. We're going to sit in there for a little bit, okay? And from there, we'll go from there, okay? No, I can't be dead. No, I can't be dead. No, 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 I can't be. He is. No. No. 
Let's go next door. Let's go next door. Okay. Back in May of 2018, Henley was charged with murder. Now, years later, the charges against Sabrina Henley have been dismissed. 